So I'm going to show you the tunnels again. Okay, come here, you will see the chunks missing from the wall. And... with a new video today I'm going to show you the cheating tunnels if you're a long time viewer you will have seen my video here before but there are a few things that I didn't show you last time that I'm going to show you this time so I'm going to show you the tunnels again and also show you a few more things around this area the cheating tunnels were built during the Japanese colonial period from 1926 until 1928 they were used until 1978. In 1978, these were abandoned when they upgraded for a new train line. Since 2005, they have been a historical site for this area. I'll tell you more about the tunnels later in the video. So right next to the entrance to Chi Ding train station on this side is this staircase that goes up to the Chi Ding lighthouse. And once you go up the stairs there's a very small trail to the Chi Ding lighthouse, it's only about one or two minutes. It's not like a lighthouse you've ever seen before, it's just like a pole with a light on top and it's no longer used. But the remnants of it are still up there and you can go and have a look at it. concrete pole and it's not in use anymore but it's still here so still overlooking the sea
thing you could come to here is the beach. So this beach is very peaceful, nobody's here right now. I don't think it really gets that busy. So if you want a peaceful place to take a walk, you can come to this beach as well. So the Cheating Tunnels are also known as the Mother and Son Tunnels. The reason for that is because one of the tunnels is short and the other one is longer. This one here is the shorter one, so this is the Sun Tunnel. This one is also closer to the train station. So the short tunnel is 67.48 meters long and the long tunnel is 130.78 meters long. You might remember I went up these stairs here to a lookout platform that's on top of this tunnel. I was going to go again, but unfortunately, it looks like we can't go up there right now. Looks like there might be some damage up there. Probably another place affected by the earthquake. The history about these tunnels is that during the Second World War the Japanese used these tunnels to protect trains from bombing. And also if you come here you would see the chunks missing from the wall like here and down here and up here and actually all the way up and across and down the other side. These are actually bullet holes left from strafing runs by the Allies. So if you come here you'll notice that the ceilings of both tunnels are covered in these red bricks all the way down.
this part of the tunnels outside there is this here which is a part of the old railroad it's never been turned into a path but you can still see the wooden parts on the rail but it's only a very short section and you might spot some wildlife. So this short tunnel is actually quite bright all the way through during the day. The other one does get a bit darker because it's longer. Uh, but this one is actually quite bright. So I can see these are a lot clearer than the last time I was here. or you're planning on visiting Taiwan and you'd like to visit this place it's very easy to get to you could take the local train and come to Chiding station it is on the main line so it's actually very easy to get to so if you take a train from the north or the south you'll always come here if you take the local train and at one side there is a car park if you want to take your own transport to the tunnel going past 